You can now maximize Amazon Web Services Redshift's elasticity, getting the most out of your cloud resources. In many cases, customers need to leave the cluster running for purposes like leaving your Hive Metastore, or it may take too long to provision a cluster and get initial data loaded. Dynamic cluster resizing for AWS EMR and Redshift lets you control the cost of the workload you need to process. Let me show you how. Let's take a look at my cluster currently running on Amazon within my EMR services. Our goal before processing is to programmatically add more task nodes within the cluster before starting the data integration flow to improve efficiency. Right now, my cluster has a master and two core servers running. Let's add some task nodes to support my cluster's processing. Within my job flow, I've already added a new component introduced with our talent integration version 6.2 called tAmazon EMR resize underscore one. In this case, I'm going to add task instances. I must enter what the cluster ID and group names are, and I can copy and paste the cluster ID from my Amazon cluster detail page. Let's now run my flow. It asks me to specify some parameters. I'll leave the parameter task name field as default as additional power, as that is what the service these additional nodes will be providing in my case. I'll paste in my cluster ID, which I still have copied, and I want to add two nodes. Clicking OK runs the job. Now if I head back into Amazon to view my cluster and click refresh, I see that I now have two task nodes being provisioned. Heading into the hardware section and clicking refresh again, I can see that adding my additional power task nodes have increased my power. Now within the data flow, I can start my big data job on this EMR cluster, now taking advantage of the resized cluster. Once I've done running my big data job, I don't need the additional power. So I'll run a process to shut down my previous job, resizing back down to zero task nodes. I'll use the same component, the T Amazon EMR resize, but now I'll resize it by passing it through this other component, which queries all of the instance groups out there. I'll then change my instance count within my EMR resize component to zero. And here is the variable being passed from my list instances component into my EMR resize component. Once my cluster is provisioned, I'll run the job, pasting the ID one last time and entering a parameter of zero. Now, if I go back out to Amazon and click refresh, it's resizing from two down to zero. I've scaled the working task nodes on my cluster just using my components. Once I have these processes working, I can deploy them out to the talent integration cloud and access them within my execution plans. Rather than starting and stopping my clusters because I may need to leave them running, I can now resize from a large number of task nodes, do the processing, and then automate the resizing back down once I'm done. To learn more about Talent Summer 16, please visit the What's New page. To upgrade your subscription, please contact your local Talent Sales Representative.